Python float. So floats are a special data type within Python. And a data type is literally just a fancy word for a format of a piece of data. So just like how in Google Sheets, you can have uh, a date, you can have a number, you can have currency, you can have a special format or anything like that. Same thing within Python, there's certain formats of data. And the one we're talking about today is gonna be Python float. And so this is basically just a number with decimal places. And so let's take a look at what this actually looks like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two variables. One is gonna be X and X is gonna equal 5.6. So you'll notice the special thing here with the decimal point, and then y is gonna equal seven, and that's just a whole number without a decimal point. And so let's print out these two variables along with their types. And so I'm gonna say x is, and then I'm gonna print out x, and then I'm gonna say the type of x is, and then the type of x. And so I'm gonna do the same thing for y with the type of y, and let's see what we get here. So we get x equals 5.6, and then the type of x is a float. And you can see that by the decimal place here. And then y is gonna be seven. And this one is actually an int, which stands for integer. And so an integer is just gonna be a whole number that does not have decimal points. And the key thing I wanna show you here is that it actually doesn't matter if your number is a round number or a whole number at all. In this case, I have i equals five, and then I have f equals 5.0. Now, just the fact that I have a point O in there is going to make it so that it turns into a float. So you see here, I'm gonna print out the, I'm gonna print out I again with the type of I and then F with the type of F. I'll run this and I'll get I equals five int and then F equals 5.0 equals float. And so that is gonna be how you're gonna uh, be able to tell what data type you have. And remember, floats are numbers with decimal points, basically. The funny thing about these is it's not a problem until it is because you kind of won't even think about it for a while until you get an error that says you cannot parse this float or something like that. And then you'll need to debug. So that is Python floats.